going to do a CPD activity using the two-step CPD cycle, which is only the implementation and the evaluation steps of the CPD cycle. This one is a quick um, CPD activity that council has implemented, but pharmacists are only allowed to do a maximum of three CPD activities per year using the two-step cycle. So I'm going to log on. And then I'm going to check if my details are correct. Then I click that they are correct. Then I click on the CPD button. And then I go on to CPD online system and click on continuing professional development. Then when I get onto this screen, I scroll down to where it says two-step CPD activity. As you can see, this one doesn't have a lot of things. Then I click here to put in my title that I've chosen. And then I come here and choose my domain and then I choose my competency. And then I choose a learning mode. This one was non-measurable. Then I click to go to step two. And then as you can see, the title pre-populates here, so you don't have to type it in again. And then the achievement date can be changed if you would like. And then the duration can be, you choose which duration you have spent on the CPD. Then now you need to describe what is it that you have done the action taken and how did you achieve this outcome. Then after describing everything there using the thousand characters, then I come here and um, declare that the learning objectives have been met. And then the applied, um, this learning was applied in the workplace. And then here is where I describe what is it that I have learned.
and then once i'm done then i can choose either i'm saving this submitting for compliance for self-review or submit to a peer so i will submit for compliance and then it's submitted and then to see if um, all my cpds have been doing have been populating i go to the dashboard and then here under the dashboard it shows entries that were done paid by domain it shows all my entries there and then it also shows entries by status so this shows if i have any that are waiting submissions or that are pending that are submitted for assessment submitted for compliance or submitted to the peer for review and then also on top here there is where it shows all my submissions so if i click that i can go to my submissions and be able to check them one by one and then also it shows under archive it shows me all my entries that i have archived and then it also shows the older entries there when i click on older entry so they are all there i can just click here to check the entry details and they are there thank you